Hi there, I'm Caleb, and today we're playing Outlast. Now, of course, today I am joined by the lovely, <laughs> Miss, by the lovely Miss Mary. <laughs> of course, it is a horror game, so if you are under the age of 17, please don't watch, and if you don't like horror, but, um, yeah. Enjoy! Hey guys, and welcome back to a spooky, scary finale of Calibrated Gamer. Today I'm joined by the lovely Miss Mary, who I love so very much, and is absolutely adorable and gorgeous and so smart and funny and kind and wonderful in every way. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to get you love. Um, today, we're back in it. Sorry, last episode we lost... All the webcam footage right at the end because literally I had my com my phone my phone is my webcam and it was connected to my computer to charge but it wasn't strong enough of a charge because it was slowly dying I guess or maybe the cord got disconnected doesn't matter point is it died so sorry we had wonderful audio and you won't be able to see her facial reactions when she schools at Chris Rock Walker Chris Rock, but <laughs> um, <laughs> but it was still a fun episode. I still enjoyed it, and uh, now we're back in it. I do want to say real quick for those that didn't watch the last episode, we just found Doctor Wernick. Which, if you know anything about Outlast, he's the German doctor that should have died back in like probably the the fifties, sixties, seventies. Yeah, still alive in two thousand seventeen, tied up to machines. And the only one that's keeping him alive right now is Billy, who has been confirmed to basically be the wall rider. Uh, he's talking about him right now as we jump back into it. Okay. Why does he call him Billy? Billy's the name of the patient that is um, controlling the wall rider. Okay. So, so Billy, so the morphogenic engine is something that was supposed to be used to basically hypnotize, control people. And not only that. But, like, change them for the better. Like, basically, you know, say, for example, someone were to use that to fight World War II. You could make soldiers that are fearless. That mm, could yeah. take multiple tranquilizer darts and bullets and not go down. Okay. So, I think that was the original plan. But one of the notes we read said that it kind of crossed a spiritual realm. And it brought something here that shouldn't have been brought to this side. Yeah. Which should be the wall rider. And for some reason, Billy is hooked up to the morphogenic engine right now. He's a patient here. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, he is connecting with the wall rider personally. And it is causing him to basically control it. He is the wall rider. So uh, that's all I know as so of right now. Billy, kill the wall rider. Huh? Kill Billy, kill the wall rider. Hopefully. The warns of nanohazard. Oh, I think it's saying that the wall rider is literally nano machines. Maybe. I don't know. Oh. Interesting. You have to stop him to murder Billy. Oh. Turn off his life support. His anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. No one can get out of this place while he lives. You must kill him. Okay, so he is literally he is literally giving us the go ahead to kill Billy. Kill Bill. Gotta kill Bill 3. Okay, well. I think he opened up a way for us. Hmm. Wait, I think we've been in here. Wait, have we? Nope. Not here. Yeah, we yeah. Well, have we? I don't know. Not in, not, not in this specific room. We have been in a kitchen before. With mutilated guts all over the wall. True. But not this specific kitchen. Okay. With a mutilated guts all over the wall. This is more like a dining hall. 
Uh, those vents would not support me. <laughs> I'm making a fat joke. Just common sense. Probably battery or something here, right? You I don't. Think? I don't even know if there is any more batteries. Oh, just another little loop, loop around. I imagine the reason they're giving us so many loop rounds is because we're going to need to get away from the wall rider in a bit. Uh, I don't know what's the wall rider. I don't know what is the wall rider and what's just this camera freaking out because we dropped it two stories. Yeah, I thought that was something too. I thought so too. Oh. Maybe, no. Not the same room. I thought this was the first room in the DLC and I was about to have like a like a, a eureka moment. Go watch the DLC. Tell them to watch the DLC. Go watch the DLC. Yeah, me and Josh played it together. Whoop. Here you go. <laughs> okay. Go. Run. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, hi! Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so... Don't get cornered by the wall rider. Don't get cornered by the wall rider. Good to note. And I didn't even see him until he entered the room because you you need the night vision to see him fully all the time. Otherwise, he's invisible some of the times. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Let's take it forever to load. Yeah. Come on. Please don't crash. I literally just saved, so... I think the game just crashed. You think? I think so. It's never taken this long to... Can you pause it? <laughs> uh... Una momento. <laughs> Okay, so, hey guys, welcome back. The Wall Rider killed us and killed the game. Literally. So we're back in it. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful because the only good way to see the Wall Rider is through night vision. And that uses batteries. And... Okay, yeah, this is where... He came through there? Yep. That means we need to go that way. Oh, he was right there. Go, don't get cornered again. Try not to. Go. I, I know, but I, I had to get by him. Okay. Still gotta worry about him, but Oh, come on. Please. E e I know. It's okay. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, he's going to oh, kill okay. us again. <laughs> Don't crash the game, though. <laughs> if it crashes the game, I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> Don't hurt me. I didn't do nothing wrong. I couldn't figure out where to go. Is it really... There's no way! I'm done. No way! I'm so freaking done. I'm so done. Does it, is it gonna crash the game every time? It's never- You gotta stop dying! It's never done this before. Never played the PlayStation 4 version, but I know it's not supposed to do that. Oh. Way to find a glitch two times, Caleb. Uno momento, por favor. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back again. Again. To Calibrate Game. The show where I was obviously not calibrated, and that was the issue. But now I am. So you don't have to go through here. Yeah, but I'm just like always to be open. Oh. That'd be a good loop around. Yeah. To get to to get by him? Yeah. Hopefully he sticks to the hallways. I know he can go through walls. But hopefully he's not going to do that as much. All right, turn on your night vision. Good boy. Yeah, thank you. Oh, he came through there. 
Maybe that's the way to go. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Thank you. Maybe this is the best way. Okay. Yeah. Left. Should I go take this way? Take a left, yeah. I take a left. No, no, no. Bathrooms. Okay. Okay. Oops. Keep going, keep going. Oh, oh, that was a squeeze through. No wonder I couldn't make it. Go, go, go. Okay. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Turn your night vision back on. I know, but he's being honest right now. No! It's okay. I don't think he can come through here. Not at the moment. Everything's so nuts, so locked down. Okay. I think we're safe right now. <laughs> you scream so loud again. Oh, that's me on the inside, though. <laughs> Note to all personnel. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based on this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions and godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. My God, man. You're a scientist for crying out loud. Bad idea. Yeah, I just wanna... Every now and then. <gasps> what? I think this is where old Billy is. This is this is where uh, the DLC basically started. The assembler, the feed chambers, the precursor molecules, vague memories of nanotechnology articles I've read online. Probably drunk, probably distracted. Not nearly enough to know how to destroy it. But Billy's the center of it. Find it, kill him. End this. That's Billy. He's been staring at the morphogenic engine. Okay. Okay. Turn off the valve for the light support fluid. Oh, wait. What did it say? That's Billy. Let me get a good... Let me get a good YouTube thumbnail look at him. That's good. It's good stuff. Um, what did I write down? What did we write down? Billy Hope. From Billy's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough road, pain scratched deep in what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Okay. Here we go. There's two valves. Two directions. Uh, that way... In that way. So I'm going to assume that Billy Wall Rider Johnson is down one of these ways. And oh, I'm going to also sure. assume that the valves are in two different locations. Oh, well. I'm going to ha That's useful. I don't want to put on your night vision. Yeah, I know. I just don't like the music. Oh, there. Oh, that's not him. Hello. Help me. Can you just watch the wall right to get him? For real. We gotta keep in mind that flickering lights. Well, that's not true. I haven't seen flickering lights. What? This is Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. If at all. Break it all. He has to die. Oh, all right, Okay. So far, so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, document. That, that'll that be good. Why not? Frankenstein, etc., etc. Chapter 4, excerpt. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. Basically, ignorance is bliss. That's what I said. That's what I know. Is that... 
I know. I thought I saw Shadow too, and I thought, yeah, could we look at Shadow, dude? I guess who's gonna show up? Cut off electric. How do you do that? Oh, run, baby, run. What is? What did it say though? Cut off electric. Be behind me. Yeah, be behind you. Cut off electric. Maybe now I can go up the stairs way? Yeah, maybe. Okay. I may not follow you. Nikki. This is the only other way I know. Yeah, it's open now. Yep. Squeeze! Great. I think you saw on my tail. Probably. And he can fly, so that's an unfair advantage. I believe I can fly. Can you not? Can you not Just right now? Just trying to lighten up the mood. I appreciate it, but I don't. Can you not? Why are we going so high? Goodness gracious. Oh, Lord. Ooh, yo, yo. Oh, Ooh, wrong way. That is not an ideal way. What the heck? I don't know. Now I have to need the night vision. Yeah. Cleanse me. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, get him off. Get him off. I don't want to say that he can't go through those walls, so I'm just going to yeah. run like I... Oh, yeah, Let's sure. More documents. Why not? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got on edge. Please find attached permission to proceed form for for, for, for p p patient William Hope, Billy Hope, of Murkoff Charitable Psychiatric Program at Mount Massive. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding, unfounded, of financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Wernick, having read the boy's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. Mm. So Billy agreed to this, believing that he'd be helping out his mother. Yeah. Cardiac arrest, does that mean she's dead? Yeah, cardiac arrest is when it's just like heart stopping. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, let's just rip that out. Okay. Well, no, I'm happy with that. Hey, that scared me for a second. It did me too. I was like, no! I was like, why is the door closed? Okay, wall rider. He's prop. He's gonna, he's gonna come up soon. Well, there's no way I can turn around if he does. Right there, I think. Oh, yeah, you made a good call. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh. Is that supposed to happen? Oh, yep. I think so. Ow. <laughs> That's one way down. Okay. All right. Are we supposed to go this way? Yeah, this is where we came from. With squeeze. Yeah. Go, 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 go. I'm trying. Which one's Billy? That's him. What now? I don't know. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We did it. We did it, babe. Oh no. He's so kicking though. Uh, oh no. Are we dying? I, I don't know. I do know, but just watch. He's getting knocked out. Oh crap. He's yeah. seeing the morphogenic engine too. Do you see that? He's like seeing the vision in his head. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh. Holy crap. Billy's dead. I think the morphogenic engine's turning off too. We're still alive. Barely. Get out. Billy's dead. The wall rider, the swarm, whatever it is, unmade with him. Whether I escape or die here, I'm free. Good on ya. Okay, well. I guess we get back up there. Yeah. How's this dude still alive? Oh, barely. Look at him. Yeah. He's barely making it up the steps. Crap. How he's gonna make it out? That's a long walk to the elevator to here, let alone his car. Yeah. This car is even still out there. Oh! Oh, easy, buddy. It's okay. We got this. It's okay, buddy. You've been through worse. See that finger? It's gone. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Few broken ribs. Few erupted organs. Right. You all good. You all good. I am not. Uh, he, is, he is just limping around. Poor guy. I know. At least Chris Walker's dead. Yeah. And the naked, tw the naked twins. <laughs> if they came down here, that would suck. <laughs> I would just, I would, I would throw a fit. Yeah, right. No, no, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. You got it. You can do it. If he doesn't make it out of here, I'm gonna scream. Look. Oh no. The wall rider took us over when Billy died. Mm. Punished. So whether the wall rider is still alive or escaped or not, he was alive in that moment and we were dead. And that's the end of Outlast. So what what'd you what do you think about it, babe? That's something. Tell me tell me your favorite part or least favorite part depending on how you want to look at it I hate I hate I hate Chris Walker Chris Walker's a jerk he's in the DLC a lot I enjoyed like the history aspect a lot and like the psychological aspect wasn't it cool to learn like all like the the lore of the game yeah that and then really like good. they did a really good job like medically like including all those like antipsychotic medications and therapies um, that were very popular during that I mean that were popular during Warnick's time like in the 40s and 50s and then popular now it's really cool because like this is like the second or third time I've played this and I get to <laughs> I get to see it like through your eyes of like the medicine and I know a lot about psychology but not you know all the medical side right. of it so it was really neat to see like just and I, I re, and I know I would have known about the Nazi thing, but I just don't remember that part. So the fact that like I got to relearn that and relive it, like I thought that was I thought I thought it was all really cool. Absolutely. The game is good enough that you remember the big scares. Like obviously I remember the naked twins, obviously I remember Chris Walker. Right. And I'd walk in a room and you'd see me and I'd be like, Oh no, oh no, no, no. Yes. I, I knew where we were. But up until that point, I didn't, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a very memorable game, but there's also so much going on. Yeah. It's, it, it can be, it can be played fresh again, basically. I hate that we don't get out though. I like, know. Like, that makes me so sad. So I, I will say, I, I know you don't have time to watch the DLC, me and Josh playing it. Yeah. But me and Josh on the channel are playing Outlast Whistleblower, which is the DLC 
It's sort of a sequel to this game, and then there's an actual sequel, a la Sue, that I plan on playing sometime soon. The point is, is that it takes place during this time, and at the end of the DLC, you can see the end of this game from a distance. So, wow. because I know you can't see it now, uh-huh. but when Father Martin was like burning himself on the cross, uh-huh. the fire kept spreading. And that's like something you get to see throughout the DLC. Huh. And okay. some of the times where you don't see Chris Walker or don't see the Naked Twins, it's because they're in the locations that the DLC is taking place in. Wow. You know, so you can actually piece together a timeline of when the two interact with one another. Yeah. Even though you don't ever interact with Miles. And you're the one that sent the email. So the fact that like you get to play from that side of the perspective, you yeah. know, it's... It's great. I, I highly recommend watching that series. It was super fun. Josh played it instead of me, and he ran the whole time. And there was actually, we saw, I didn't realize this, when we played the first episode, the wall rider was at the very beginning of the DLC, the very beginning of the DLC, but we ran past him, and we didn't see him. So, like, me and Josh just assumed the wall rider wasn't in that game, <laughs> but, like, we just avoided him. Like, literally didn't see him. Anyway. Great game, great series, great girl. Thank you so much for recording with me, sweet girl. Of course. It was a blast. Hopefully, we can record another series in the future when you're not a nursing student. Give me a year. (laughs) Basically. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and comment down below. Let me know in the comments what PlayStation 4 game you want to see me play. On my PlayStation 4. On our PlayStation 4. Let me know what you want to see me play. And... Until the next time, like and comment down below, subscribe to Stay Calibrated, hit the bell icon when you do so you can be notified of the next episode. Let me know in the comments what game you want to see next, and if it's a short one-off game, I might be able to get her on the channel again sooner than a year. Spring break. But not not a whole series. Yeah, because we have nursing school and a wedding this year. Yeah, forgot about the wedding. That's a... Wedding in July. That's a thing. Uh, <laughs> I hope you don't forget about the I'm wedding. Not, I'm not gonna forget. I love it makes me think of the Incredibles. Anyway. Thank you guys, love you guys, thank y'all for watching, and until then we will see y'all in the next episode. Bye! Bye everyone! <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah. <laughs>